Thank you. And now I give the floor to the international, uh, to, to the, uni the Union of Arab Jurists, a, a joint statement by the Union of Arab Jurists. Thank you, Mr. President. This is a joint statement with 300 NGOs. This is a written statement referenced by the Iraqi delegation earlier. Ten years have passed since the unlawful war in Iraq, and for the Iraqi people, it has been a decade of destruction, death, violations, and hardship. All victims of violations are entitled to reparation. Iraqis are still waiting for those responsible to be held accountable. In breach of international humanitarian law, coalition forces use weapons which have significantly polluted the environment and are suspected of causing an explosion in illnesses like congenital birth defects and cancer. The invasion severely affected children. It is estimated that 3.5 million live in poverty, 1.5 million under the age of 5 are undernourished, and 5 million are orphans. Once among the best in the region, the health care system has been crippled. Ten years on, health services still fail to meet minimum standards. Having previously practic practically eradicated illiteracy, about 5 million people are now illiterate. An estimated 84% of Iraqi higher education infrastructure was damaged following the invasion. Up to 1 million people have been reported missing since 2003. Kidnappings, abductions, and detentions occur daily. Archaeological sites have been reduced to rubble, cultural property lost or stolen, cities brought to ruins, and infrastructure destroyed. Gross violations of human rights continue under the Maliki government. Torture is widespread. Executions occur regularly. Tens of thousands are held in official and secret detention centers, many without charges. Death sentences imposed without fair trials, and peaceful demonstrators met with force and violence. Maliki and his government must be held accountable. Distinguished members of the Council, we ask that you uphold the UN Charter and international law and take due action on the situation in Iraq. All countries involved with the invasion must provide compensation and reparation to Iraqis. They must undertake and finance an environmental cleanup, specifically the removal of weapons and radioactive remnants, and cover the restoration of damage to infrastructure and archaeological sites. Finally, war crimes and crimes against humanity must be fully investigated. A special rapporteur on Iraq should be appointed, and all measures taken to ensure that all violators of human rights in Iraq, both from the invasion and the current government, are brought to justice. I thank you, Mr. Vice President.